Yeah, so my name is Doug Campbell, uh, Albuquerque native, grew up here, uh, currently reside in uh, Colorado, but still maintain a footprint here in uh, Albuquerque. I uh, got my bachelor's and master's in 2001 and 2002 from the civil engineering department at the University of New Mexico. Well, um, I guess, let me put it this way. While this is, um, you know, a gift to specifically the um, civil engineering department of the University of New Mexico, the way I look at it is that um, this is not only a gift to the civil engineering department, not only a gift really to the, to the college as well as the university, but really it's the community. Because again, I, I'm from here. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have been successful on the business side. So giving back to my quote unquote community has always been kind of in, in my long term vision. And now I've been blessed uh, with, uh, with the resources to be able to, to do so. I'm a huge fan of education. I feel like uh, education is, uh, in a very simplistic way, education, improving education can solve all of society's ills, if you will. So that combined with the fact that New Mexico and Albuquerque and the university are near and dear to my heart, um, this gift is really a way of improving the competitiveness of the university and the department. I'm, I'm an engineer, but I'm also a business person. And so I understand how you know, business works. Um, for better or worse, it comes down to resources. And so um, I understand that the university needs resources to you know, establish and maintain its uh, not only national competitive, but frankly speaking, international competitive. And so that, in a nutshell, is why I'm doing it. Yeah, so I, um, during the early part of my adolescent, uh, was raised by a single mother. Um, who put herself through college here at the University of New Mexico and specifically got her degree through the um, civil engineering department. So I literally grew up on campus. Hmm. Well, so um, Dr. May maybe doesn't know it, but he had a profound impact on my uh, sort of career uh, trajectory. I took several courses from him, some of which were technical, one of which, I don't know if you remember, engineering ethics. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so to me, Dr. May just stood out as a, just an exemplary example of not only an, an engineer, but just a professional and was something that, that I sort of aspired uh, to be long term in my career. Um, he had demonstrated uh, really the ability to, to be a leader. I mean, he had really assumed every leadership role at the university. However, in, um, as a reflection of his incredible humbleness, you would have never known it. Um, you know, in my time, I think he was at the tail end of his career, mm -hmm. and all, all he was doing was getting back to his roots and teaching students such as myself. And so that just it had a lasting, lasting impact on me. Sure. I had a, a wonderful, fulfilling career for 35 years at UNM. Uh, I always felt so privileged to be able to work with young men and women like, like Doug, who uh, were the future of the next generation. And uh, I couldn't think of anything more important, just as Doug says, than, than to prepare them for that future, both technically and as, as human beings. Uh, and as particularly in civil engineering, I always said, you know, uh, I say to the students here, you're uh, responsible for the entire infrastructure that undergirds our civilization. And uh, when you go out, you're equipped to do fantastic things. You can p design a bridge, you can lay out a water system. And as a matter of fact, I would always say to the students, you civil engineers, we civil engineers, have saved more lives by providing clean water than, any, than the medical profession has across the world. So it was a, it was a satisfying and and uh, incredibly uh, wonderful time for me to be be able to work with young men and women, bright young men and women, motivated to do well and to uh, and at a at a cusp in their their own development. See them come in at 18 from Magdalena, little. Uh, unsure of themselves and then you'd see after four or five years they'd walk out with confidence ready to be take on their profession it was a wonderful wonderful profession for me wonderfully satisfying and dr man know exactly who you're talking about that young gentleman yes from Magdalena, New yes York. yes martinez yeah. <laughs> now now i have to tell you though i have i went through my files and i will tell you what i thought of this young man I, 
Yeah, I, I wrote a letter, a couple of letters of recommendation for him. So, so I, I found this okay. in my file. So let me read some of them, okay? <laughs> I'm happy to write this letter of recommendation. If this was for a space grant. Uh, and, and I don't know if you got it or not, Doug, but anyway. Well, I've I became an aerospace engineer. Yes, you went into that, <laughs> yes. I've had Doug in several undergraduate classes and found him to be one of those very strong students who clearly shows every indication of future achievement. I'm especially pleased, remind, remind you, this was written 21 years ago, and uh, I'm especially pleased that he set his sights on graduate studies, wherever that might lead. In addition to achieving a very high grade point average during his academic career here at UNM, he has participated in an NSF-sponsored research program, and that experience was instrumental in motivating him to continue his education. Uh, he is articulate and thoughtful, a leader among his peers, and highly respected by the faculty. He is competitive and mature. With a sound background from his undergraduate studies in civil engineering, he will grow in any environment that stimulates him intellectually. I think that was the key <laughs> with him. Great potential. So I, my, my predictions were fulfilled. Wow. <laughs> That's the first time. <laughs> I don't remember that letter. <laughs> I, I, wrote, I wrote a couple of them. I'm I found sure them in did. my file. I'm sure you did. <laughs> w wonderful, wonderful. And I, and I looked through my grades and straight A's. Ex ah, except you. I have to, I have to confess, uh, I, I was, I was chagrined to see that in mechanics materials he had an average of eighty nine point six seven, and I gave him an A minus. <sighs> Can you imagine? <laughs> no, nowadays he would get an A for sure. <laughs> so, well, it's a, it's a magnificent gift. It's, a, it's an unprecedented gift, and, and Doug has talked about the importance of this. You know. University's been around for, what, 123 years, and we started out as a, a, a picture show the one little building up here on the empty mesa, and look where we are now. Huh? We've been part of the growth, we've been integral, we've been responsible for the growth of the state. But uh, in a poor state, and Doug touched on this too, in a poor state, we're always going to be under-resourced. The state will do what it can, but we're always going to be under-resourced compared to the the big rich states and the big rich universities. And so our, our struggle has always been to try to leverage and increase our resources. And we've done that in a, in a great way through our research program. We get hundreds of millions of dollars of research money that uh, builds our laboratories and turns out our graduate students, et cetera. But uh, now we need to increasingly look at the private sector. The private sector is is, is, has benefited from the university, as you've heard from Doug, and, uh, and, and they now are part of our strategy to look at additional resources so that we can be truly competitive and, uh, and do better for the people in the state of New Mexico. Hmm? <laughs> well, I was completely, I was completely overcome. Uh, that was something that uh, that I still struggle with. I'd be quite happy if, if uh, it just went into a Doug Campbell endowment. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, it's, it's extraordinary to have a gift like this. And, and people don't always understand the, the strength of an endowment. It's managed outside the university and it provides resources forever. As long as the university, as long as the state exists. So it's a wonderful, wonderful ongoing contribution to the quality of the institution. So, uh, so uh, the recognition should really go to, to, to Doug for that, for that, uh, f for that wonderful gesture of, of giving back to, to the university. <laughs> it was actually proposed to me. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. <laughs> um, uh, but, you know, as soon as I heard it, um, you know, I, I sort of jumped at the chance. I, it literally, I think it was myself, Leslie, and Mahmoud. Uh, I'd like to say we kind of came to the decision mutually. Um, we sort of were dancing around the subject. Uh, they brought up the naming of the department. I immediately said, well, I don't want my name on it. And then it was, I think, within a half a second is when we stumbled, stumbled upon the name of, of Dr. Jerry May. 
I just, I'm, I'm honored to do this. I mean, it is, um, you know, I'm not, I, I don't come from means. You know, I'm just a kid that grew up in Albuquerque. And so this is, I now find myself in an odd situation where, you know, resources are, are fingers crossed, becoming available to me. Um, and so it's, it was just a no-brainer. I mean, you know, it's, it's always been philosophically that at some point I'm going to get into ph philanthropy in some form or another. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be about giving back to the community that, turned me into the man that I am and so that's you know not just Albuquerque State in New Mexico but this this institution and and so when I when you think about who really deserves the right to have their name you know on the side of the civil uh, engineering department here at the University of New Mexico it's not Doug Campbell it's Dr. May. And well and I would <laughs> I would add that it's it's not necessarily Dr. May there are there are a series of of deans and chairs and faculty members who have contributed to uh, the college being where it is today and they should be honored too so it's uh, I'm just I, I just had a wonderful career at a at a time that was that was great for me and uh, and and a time of growth for the department and so I was fortunate to be here I was just one of many <laughs>